10 minutes late, I'm sorry, but uh, I had a little technical problem with our what's new. But anyway, we figured it out, and here we are, and Happy New Year. And thank you thank to you, thank our you. good friend who always helps us, Brenda yes. and... Brent. And Brent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wonderful friends. But anyway, we're here, and I just want to take some time tonight. I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but here it snowed this morning, and uh, it was absolutely beautiful to see the snow. Uh, right now it's not, but they say there's more snow coming. Yeah. Good day to cuddle up with the fireplace, and that's what we did this morning. We got up and had some coffee, sat in our chairs, and read the Word of God, and yes. it's just a, it was a wonderful day, actually. And I just got inspired, and I said to Brenda, I said, please tell everybody I'm coming on at 5 o'clock tonight, because I just, I just want, we just want to say thank you for watching, number one, and also thank you for being such a wonderful friend to us. So many of you out there... Uh, are on and uh, we 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 have a bond right here and it's been a wonderful bond for several several years here on Facebook and I thought what I'd like to do is start this year even though we're about three days four days whatever into the year with some of the great hymns of the church now a lot of you have have donated to our ministry and have received the armor package which has my hymn book and the CDs and Cheryl's devotions and piano book and and uh, and I'm hoping that you received it by now and you're enjoying it. And I said that we're going to put the whole armor of God. This is the year that we must put the whole armor of God. In. And by doing that, you got to read the Word of God. You got to read the Bible, listen to good music, and of course, I may be prejudiced, but I love the hymn still, the hymns of the church. And I even asked to request some of your favorites, and I wrote them down here. And now there's so many that I can't play them all for sure. But uh, I just want to play right now and ask the Lord to bless my hands as I play and anointing. And as you're listening, that you'll, you will be blessed and you'll be spoken to. God will speak to you through this music. Uh, near the cross, his eyes on the sparrow, he touched me, majesty. I'm going to try to get as many as I can. And Lord, I pray right now that you just anoint everything that is played on this piano.
touch of God on your life. He touched me.
comes out with my fingers. This is it. And uh, thank you for requesting this music. There's one more hymn I want to play for you from this hymn book that Cheryl and I have put together and a lot of you probably have and some that are on here for the very first time. We greet you and thank you for being here. But we came out with this hymn restoration. Oh, yes. this has been a this has been a blessing to thousands of people. I'll tell you what, the, 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 the devotions have really ministered to hundreds of people. People that come to me, either at the bakery where we have downtown here in Branson, or in concert, they'll say, you don't understand, every day we read a, a donation, a donation. We read a, a devotion, I should say, that uh, Cheryl has written. And the one song, that I want to share right now, and I'll even, I'm going to read the donate. I'm going to read the devotion because for the you know 2024, what? I really want this particular hymn to abide with you. The title of this hymn is "Abide with Me." What are you going to say, Cheryl? Um, since the very first, a sweet lady named Lori yes. has said, "Is there a way to donate online?" Well, I, I'm and gonna, so I want you to keep that in mind. And I will remember that. After you've that. read, maybe give her that. I'll do that for sure. But first, abide with me. Abide with me. This precious hymn that I I just uh, I, I can't have a better hymn to bring us into the new year. And she starts with a scripture. Uh, well, actually, uh, yeah, it is a scripture right here. It's, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. So that's what we want to do is abide in his love. He loves you. He really does. But this mm -hmm. is just for you. Those, those that are watching right now, we don't know what you're going through what your difficulties are, or some of you may be saying, oh, I'm a happy as a lark, and that's fine, that's the blessing of the Lord, but there are some that are hurting. This is what Cheryl wrote. Many people are physically sick or even troubled to the point of considering suicide or over a loss in their life. The answer for these people is to take refuge in the Lord. If you're sick because of, of, of unforgiveness, remember that faith works by love, and love always forgives. Allow Psalms 91 to minister to you as you say, I make the Lord my refuge so that no evil or calamity will come into my house. 
my body or my mind by immersion in the word, which is our daily bread, our minds become like the mind of Christ. Our pastor was Gary McSpadden, and Cheryl, this is Cheryl's brother, my brother-in-law, and this is what he would say, minds become like the mind of Christ. Then it says here, this is what Gary would say, uh, he, he teached that the brain is the physical organ where we, where we store information, and the mind is where we check our spirit and receive thoughts from our guide, God's Holy Spirit. Amen. That's our guide. We have power over the enemy when we read and know God's word. We also have authority over spirits of evil and we can live victoriously. When we resist the devil, we will free, he will flee from us. Yes. You can simply say, in the powerful name of Jesus, leave me now. I give you no place in my life, my relationships, my finances, or any other area of my life. My dad used to open the, the door to throw that spirit out. Papa would do that, yeah. Yes, he would. The ugly spirit that whispers, you can't take this anymore, must flee, must flee from you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Remember, there are no incurable diseases. Just wait on the Lord. Spend time with him in prayer and read his word, the Bible, to gain his direction and understanding. Don't wait to fortify. Live by faith, for this is the path of life dedicated to Christ our Lord, pouring into you the revelation of God's word. Amen. Cheryl, that was wonderful writing. And in her prayer, this is her prayer. Dear God, fill my heart with understanding to accept the light that comes from studying your word. Give me an anointing to be able to share this word with others. Thank you, Lord God. This is something that you must read every day. Every day is a different donate, a devotion. And the hymn that goes with it, this happens to be Abide With Me, a beautiful hymn of the church. Praise God, and this is what I pray for you that you will abide in the Lord. And how do you abide, abide in the Lord? By prayer, by walking in the paths of righteousness. Let it, Holy Spirit be with you. Invite him into your life. So the decisions you make and the decisions, decisions that a lot of you will make this beginning of January, I pray that God and his Holy Spirit will speak into your heart. And I, Cheryl and I pray that for you. We really, yes. really do. This is the hymn book. And Cheryl, since someone asked about donating, I want to say this, that this armor package that a lot of you already have received, and I'm so glad you did. If you have not, it's still time to be able to get this. As a matter of fact, I think last year I said we don't have many left, but we just got an order in, and we got these packets right here that we ship out. This is for you right here. That's got all of this. Cheryl's devotions. That which I just read is on a CD. And you can just lay in bed and listen to Cheryl's sweet voice. Just re recite and read the great devotions that she has written. And then I gotta say this. Well, these are the, these are the CDs that you'll hear us sing. Then four CDs of all the hymns that I've played in this hymn book. Yes, you, you play every one hundred and one uh -huh. hymns. All I play. The background, yes. Let this be a comfort to you, especially in times like these. And then, of course, this is the thick piano book that I wrote. That's got all the hymns. You that play the piano, or perhaps you know someone that plays the piano. What a gift this would be. This would be something for you to put. Just put this on your coffee table. If you have a piano, put it on the stand here. And when you have time, just listen and sing along with the great hymns of the church. And here are the four CDs that everybody gets. Now, you can still get this, and we can send this out to you even tomorrow, just like this. If you'll say, Dino, how do I do it? And you get this, and how you know it's what I'm saying, you'll see my face on the, on the front of this envelope right here. And uh, we will send this out, our Teresa, will actually take your order. All you gotta do is call her. I'm gonna give you her number. This is our ministry number and she 
picks up all the uh, the calls that we get and tells Cheryl and I what, what they are and who they are and so on, so we know what's going on. But anyway, you, you what you do is dial her number, 417-230-8889. That's an easy number. 417, that's here in Branson, 230-8889. And you can donate to our ministry. I usually ask for at least $75 is a lot more money that's put into this project, but for you, because it's it's the new year and I want you to have, I want everybody to have this. Yes. So $75, all you gotta do is call Teresa, and if someone's on the phone, we'll probably get a lot of calls, or if you wanna make a donation to our ministry, all you gotta do is call Teresa, she'll take your credit card, or she'll tell you uh, how to set a check or whatever, but we prefer taking your credit card right now, okay? That'd be the best. So call her, 417-230-8889. And you'll receive the mm-hmm. hymn book, Cheryl's Devotions, as she speaks. And her devotions in the hymn book, which is wonderful. And of course, the hymn book itself and this amazing piano book. I've never done anything like this before, with the 101 of me playing. And he, these are the four CDs that you will receive. Where did I put them? I oh, know. on the side. I put them right here. Yes. You'll see there are four CDs in here of 101 of the hymns. What? A tool to use while you're reading the word, yes. while you're while you're uh, uh, relaxing, the and, 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 and if just, you're stressed out or anything, put these CDs on. Let the hymns of the church, or while you're praying, any, anything like that. Yes. Let this music just saturate your house. And you can let medit- it just play in the background, and then meditate. you're going to recognize a hymn, and you're going to sing along with it. I know you are, because <laughs> every hymn, a lot of the hymns Praise that I just God. played, are in this hymn book. So once again, you call 417-230-8889. And this, will get, praise God, we're able to get more of these armor. We call the A-M-O-R packets because we're putting on the whole armor of God because the music that's in this hymn book is from the Word of God. These great hymns have been inspired by men and women years ago that wrote these hymns. It is well with my soul, near the cross, at the cross, at the cross, you name them, 101 hymns, and then you will get the history behind the hymn that Cheryl wrote and a devotion that goes with that hymn. And every devotion will touch your heart. You know, if you open this book every morning, it'll speak to you for that particular day. How many people have said, I needed it for that day. Like what I just read to you, abide with me. I know some of you need to hear that. Through sorrow, I know a lot of you have lost dear friends. Our Brenda, Brenda Hayes that works with us, she lost such a close friend, Judy. We loved her too and she was a wonderful supporter of this ministry and she would come to Branson and come to our concerts. Well, we're praying peace in her life right now. It's hard when you, when you lose a really close friend or someone you'd love so much. So those that need comfort, this is what you need. You really do need that. Call on the name of the Lord, and we will help to assist in you just touching the hem of his garment Amen. with this music Thank and with the word of God. Amen. I'm so glad we got together again tonight. As I said, this will come in the mail to you. Now, after Christmas, the mail should be flowing really, really well. So praise God. We love you so much. And I want to say, Keep holding on. Don't let go of God's promises. His promises are true. We're leaning on the promises of God, our Savior. That's all you can do in times like this. In times like this, you need a Savior. Mm -hmm. Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I felt felt the anointing while I was playing. You know... I, I would not minister when it comes to the piano, whether it's Facebook or on stage, like for instance, on, on uh, this month, the 26th, we're gonna be in Nashville with Kim Collingsworth and her family. Actually, it's honoring Kim that night. It's gonna be a glorious night. Sandy Patty will be there and some other guests, those that have really had an influence on Kim Collingsworth's life. 
and I'm honored to be asked to come. And she and I will be playing duets, and she'll be playing, and Sandy Pat is going to sing. Oh, I wonder if there are any tickets left. I don't but, know, but you need to check and see. Check it out, for sure. It's yeah. going to be glorious. It's going to be an amazing night. It really, really is. Nights. I think most of the theater is, is already sold. Three nights. Well, it's three nights, actually, but we're only going to be there on the Friday night. Right. I'll be just there on the Friday night. And the other nights, Kim is going to have her family, and, you know, what a great ministry they have. Wonderful. It's an awesome ministry. Praise God. Okay. Give us a call, 417-230-8889. That could connect you to something very great for your life. And that's listening to the hymns that are so inspired by the word of God. Amen. I know a lot of you believe that. I know you do. So have a good evening. God bless you. And we'll, be, we'll, we'll get together again throughout this year for sure. But uh, if you want to see us in concert, next time is going to be the 26th of this month in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'll keep you in touch about how that's going and and that night and how great it's going to be. I'll take some photographs or film. I'm not sure if they're going to videotape it or not. I hope they do. I really do. Good night. God bless you. Call us now, okay? We'll see you. Love you. Love you.